Hey guys, it's Harry Stella's Heather and Camry here and we're here for her three month update and things are crazy around our household right now and with our family. We are moving to a new business and everything's crazy but I did not want to skip over our three month update. And so, Camry's three months, she may look kind of tiny over here. She is actually still really tiny but I'm going to see if she'll sit here while I do her video. I was hoping she would do this kind of last time for her two month update but as you guys saw she was like not having it and wanted me to hold her and she was getting sleepy with that day but now for three months she is happy we just ate she's still eating only about four ounces every three hours and she sleeps all night though. so that only right after two months she started sleeping all night i feel like each of the girls have started to sleep around two to three months mostly through the night um with the girls though i feel like i would have to like get up and give them the passy or something a little bit but but with Camry I don't like I lay her down and she is out for the night she still likes to be swaddled up but I don't swaddle her like really tightly she likes to be able to get her arms out like in the mornings that's when I know like she's ready to get up so her schedule now she gets up around I don't know seven eight or nine it just kind of depends and usually from her swaddle she'll have like her arms out and she'll start crying and I know she's like ready to get up and then, so she'll eat her four ounces then, and what we're doing right now is she's doing half formula and half breast milk. So she gets two ounces of breast milk and two ounces of formula, and that's what she eats pretty much for each bottle. So she'll eat that in the morning, get her diaper changed, and she'll be happy, and she normally sits in her bouncy like this a lot of the times. So she'll, we'll do this in the mornings. Um, or if I change her diaper in the floor, I just kind of let her lay around on the floor. She didn't start rolling over anything yet. She looks like she might be trying to a little bit, but she's still just so little. And since she was early, she may be delayed on some of those things. So I guess we'll just see how that goes. It's so different from the other girls. I'm used to them being chunky and like ready to start doing stuff like that. Then about three hours, she's usually around 11. She usually eats about um, 11, 2, 5, 8. And then she's ready for bed after that. And that's kind of the same routine out throughout the day like that. And then, um, so then at night after she eats her bottle around 8 or 9, um, she normally stay awake a little bit like this and just kind of hang out with us. When she starts to get tired for bed, that's either we'll do, you know, we do the whole bedtime routine, either a bath or just getting her ready for bed, swaddle her good. And, um, but we do all the night stuff like the night wash purpley lavender stuff, lotions, and all that kind of stuff, and like, but she knows when it's time to get ready for bed, once it's gotten quiet, the girls are down to sleep, that's why I think she sleeps so good at night, because she, um, gonna come sit with mama. hey babies, say hey guys, let me turn this off, so you can sit, yeah, the girls are just so loud, and everything during the day. I thought that kind of keeps her good and awake during the day and all. And she takes like these little short naps. Like sometimes she'll take longer naps, but usually she'll like want to take a little nap and then be awake and then take another little nap and then be awake to eat instead of just like staying awake and then sleeping until it's time to eat. Like sometimes she could like sleep earlier, like right after she eats and then be awake a while before it's time for her to eat again. So she just kind of makes her own schedule during the day. I'm just like, whatever she does during the day, that's totally fine with me. As long as she's sleeping at night good, then yeah, whatever. Whatever you want to do, girlfriend. But I do feel like when it gets quiet at night, she knows when I start to swaddle her up that it's time to, you know, to go to bed. We'll rock a little bit. Sometimes I don't even have to rock her that long. Like She's just like so ready to go to sleep at the end of the day. Lay her down and she is like out and sometimes she can still be kind of up and then she'll kind of take her passy a little bit but she doesn't really like sleep or have to have her passy like to sleep she'd rather spit the passy out get good to sleep and all and like during the night I don't I don't hear anything from her until the morning it's crazy because the girls I remember having to get up at least give them a passy at, at this age at some point in the night but no usually and I'll try to go to bed shortly after that too so I get a good night sleep but once she's up in the morning like when she wakes up, if it's seven, eight, nine, whatever time it is, she is like, like she is like crying, waving them arms around, and she's like so ready to get up. So you know that it's time to get up for the day. But at least I get a long stretch at night. I don't have to get up. But because I remember Clara, she would sleep in, 
Kenzel would be up at 8 no matter what. Clara would sleep till like 9 or 10 if I let her. But usually I have to get her up so I could go to work and stuff. But um, but with Camry and Daddy over right now, he's been able to help a lot. So that's been so awesome. I'm so thankful for that for sure. Say hey guys. Say hey. You go first for the guys. Mm. Say hey. Say hey. So I get a little bit bigger. We'll probably go to the doctor soon. I don't know exactly how much she weighs right now. I think she's around 9 or 10 pounds. But she's still wearing newborn stuff. Like this is still a newborn onesie. I don't know how long she'll be anymore. So I've tried a couple of times to put some three month stuff on her. And it's just too big. I'd say I give her another month or so. And she might start filling up the three month stuff. But she loves being up like this. Loves looking around. Being good and awake. She started to really recognize my voice and stuff, I feel like. She'll like try to look for me sometimes when people are holding her. She's so funny. And she just she's not very vocal though. Like the girls like talking and stuff. She doesn't really like gooing and gone and all that. Not as much as I remember the girls doing. So that's another delay that I've noticed. So I probably noticed some of the delays like that. But that's okay. It's totally fine. We just have so much going on right now trying to move to our new business and all. I know y'all have seen that in our vlogs. I was like, ugh, trying to get this video. Oh, my grandma's here now. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll go because I got to get going. I will. I wanted to update you guys on me too and show y'all like my belly and the incision and all. Just an update for three months. So I'll have to do that too. But I'll get to that soon. I'll try to do another little clip of that in here. And if I think of anything else try to update us so thanks so much for watching have a great day subscribe comment like i'm so glad i got through this video because things are crazy right now but it's gonna be awesome and watching this girl grow love you guys see you guys later check my daily vlogs and see you guys soon bye say bye camry